some customers ask me is that a raw hair or virgin hair you may see some videos on YouTube some people maybe you had ever watched a video like this I will tell you this is raw hair this is wooden hair but for factory raw hair or wooden hair is not a direct translation but the hair maybe you had heard about uh, raw hair that is cut from women directly okay that is ponytail right it the material the raw material it is a one donor but uh, the product is not one donor okay all the product is not one donor okay some customers ask me is that raw hair or what in here okay uh, well I will say there are several misunderstandings about uh, raw hair or what in here uh, at first uh, raw hair or what in here is not a direct translation about the hair in the factory we won't say that we won't say that uh, how we classify the quality of the hair at first uh, about uh, the raw material maybe you had ever heard about that uh, raw hair is uh, the hair cut from the woman directly uh, we say it uh, ponytail and uh, another kind is uh, non rame hair the raw material is non rame hair but uh, nobody see that on the market um, it is non rame hair and uh, another kind uh, is uh, rame hair rame hair made from non rame hair non rame hair made from uh, the hair balls if you had ever seen that uh, Indian people process the hair balls make it uh, non rame hair and uh, we import the non rame hair the raw material into China uh, we use the um, non rame hair to make bundles and uh, we made it uh, rame hair uh, cuticle aligned cuticle aligned yeah remy here that's the definition is how we classify the quality of hair from the raw materials okay now let's talk about uh, some misunderstanding about uh, raw hair so-called raw hair or virgin hair is raw hair went on here um, for the material it is went on here but uh, for the products it's not it's for the product it's not even for one donor here for the raw material we have to process it double line through wash dry and uh, comb after comb it we will get uh, same length big bulk same length okay the next step is uh, mix the hair as you can see there are long hair in the bundle and the short hair in the bundle uh, we will mix the hair to get different uh, ratio that you want to get if you want the hair bundle full we put uh, more long hair in the bundle if you want to, to get the bundle thin we put more shorter hair in the bundle that's why you always get different price on the market and, and now you will understand why the product is not one donor hair the material raw material is one donor hair but the product is not one donor hair for bundle full and uh, or tiny that relates to the price okay another misunderstanding is uh, somebody maybe say that uh, somebody maybe say that raw hair is uh, unprocessed no chemical actually that's not true uh, even for one donor hair the raw material we have to wash it do you believe that we wash it with water only uh, not really sodium hypochlorite uh, solution is uh, necessary at least uh, all kinds of hair no matter what what the hair it is we have to wash it and the uh, chemical is necessary another misunderstanding is uh, whether the raw hair or virgin hair can be bleached to 
six thirteen or color number twenty seven. There are different ways to bleach the hair by the factory or by salon or by yourself. You may use creamy developer and uh, bleach powder to bleach the hair by in by in factory but in factory it's totally different. You can check my videos how I test uh, the hair at home to both ponytail and uh, narrow hair we can bleach the hair to 613 but uh, there's a little bit different you can see my video how I contrast uh, high quality 613 and uh, low quality 613 both the uh, two color will sell as uh, 613 on market but it was bleached uh, from different quality hair Another misunderstanding is about uh, durability. Will the hair last more than one year or two years? Um, to be honest, I don't know because uh, there's no lab where, uh, where the weft on and uh, to test how long the hair lasts. I think this is a problem for yourself. It depends how you wash the hair, how you comb the hair, or uh, you style the hair and uh, how many times you reuse the hair um, how long you replace the hair if the source is a uh, ponytail the end of the bundle will split too but uh, that will last longer than ram hair or non ram hair anyway if the here is raw hair or wooden hair. It's not about uh, the weight. It's not about the texture. It's about the pattern. Uh, it's not about uh, the end full or tiny. All these things we can control in the factory. Another misunderstanding is uh, if wooden hair not hundred percent human hair. Uh, actually, that's another problem. Maybe you can get cheaper hair that uh, mixed with the uh, synthetic splint. Uh, in my factory, all hair is uh, human hair, 100%. For raw material to ponytail, the cuticle aligned and 100% uh, cuticle intact. But for non hair, we have to wash it in the suit acid. But for non hair, but for non hair, we have to wash it in acid solution that will demand the intact and uh, take away part of it another misunderstanding is uh, raw hair is uh, natural way uh, maybe for Indian people that is uh, when we talk about the Indian hair it's South Asia Indian not a Native American Indian and uh, for Chinese hair Chinese woman the ponytail, the raw material ponytail, it is straight. Uh, and uh, maybe for Indian people, for Indian women, the raw material, it is natural wavy. Whether the hair is uh, natural wavy or not, that's not a point to classify if the hair is uh, raw hair or not.